Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 as usual and today I've got a bit of a special video for you guys because we'll be kind of doing a discussion, a World of Tanks game discussion and today I want to talk about armour. Now the thing is armour is a really weird stat because it kind of is the only stat in the game that you know kind of varies depending on your skill so for example your ability to angle your armor side scrape and use it effectively and also in a way it's kind of beyond your uh, beyond your control in many ways because for example it's also the efficiency of your armor also depends on what kind of ammunition your opponent is using and whether your opponent knows the weak spots of your tank and has the enough skill to hit those weak spots effectively. So that makes armor very unique in comparison to a lot of other stats like hit points, accuracy and so on that are just a fixed number and do not really change for your tank. Now the thing is armor is kind of or the dis in the discussion whether armor is a very useful stat or not a useful stat there is uh, a lot of disagreement. There are people who say armor is really really important and others that say well who cares about armor really uh, it doesn't matter because anyone can fire premium ammunition at you and at the end of the day it doesn't make a difference so let's have a look at the pros and cons of both sides and then try to kind of figure out whether armor is actually any good or whether it's actually maybe better to just forgo armor entirely for better gun handling or something like that and the IS-6 that we're seeing here in the background is really a classical example for a vehicle that depends on its armour and that can also be completely made irrelevant almost by enemies using premium ammunition against it. And that is one of the main problems that ammun uh, premium ammo since it became uh, available for credits has kind of made armour yeah, pretty, pretty irrelevant most of the time and uh, that is very problematic. Now, there was a time also back, be uh, this, back, this is way back in the day, uh, before there were tier 10 tank destroyers and tier 10 artillery, when uh, those lines only went up to tier 9, or in the case of artillery, even to tier 8, and the only tier 10 tanks you would get were heavy tanks. And back in those days, you could uh, very easily argue that armor was a lot more effective back then, just for the reason that uh, you basically had, didn't have these massive penetration tank destroyers that would uh, just slice through, uh, say, an E100's turret armor with their uh, just short of 300 millimeters penetration of the standard rounds. And that kind of thing just wouldn't happen back then. So once those tanks were introduced, especially before the tier 10 tank destroyers were nerfed, there was this phase when uh, armor, especially at tier 10, was actually kind of regarded as just completely useless and everybody was getting into vehicles like the Batchat, the Leopard one, that forwent armor uh, to get, say, great guns and mobility. And that was the kind of mentality back then, but with the tank destroyers being nerfed recently and also because we are now seeing so many of these very lightly armored tanks if you think of it most of the recently introduced vehicles into the game have got almost zero armor for example the uh, Czechoslovakian tanks the AMX 30B the in a way the Swedish tank destroyers as well and all these vehicles are very very lightly armored and uh, then the thing is what happens is if you have a vehicle with even decent armor or ideally with very good armor and as soon as your opponents get the choice between firing at this very well armored tanks at these very well armored tanks or firing at a very squishy easy to penetrate vehicle they will almost always take shots at the easy to penetrate vehicles and although this might kind of sound a bit selfish or uh, kind of a bit mean eh, even towards the kind of drivers of uh, uh, lightly armored vehicles this is actually a huge advantage for you if you're driving a heavy tank and also another thing is that if you have a vehicle like say the E75 where uh, enemies actually to be able to penetrate your tank successfully enemies have to be able to hit your weak spots i.e. the lower glaciers and if that is the case, that makes it so much more difficult for enemy vehicles to engage you successfully. Because, think about it, 
if you pop around the corner and there's say a leopard one waiting behind it for you then you will just auto aim at him or just fire anywhere at his hitbox and definitely penetrate but if there's say an IS-7, an E-100, any tank like that you actually have to drive around the corner, aim, find out where the weak spot is and then hope that you will penetrate and that just gives the enemy vehicle of the vehicle you're facing that is well armored a lot more uh, chances to counter your attack to for example track you in the process and it opens so many more possibilities so i guess what i want to say is that uh, although armor has become less relevant it's actually i think there's kind of a bit of a comeback of armor because there are we're seeing so many um uh, introductions of new very lightly armored vehicles the gorilla 15 is another great example so i would just uh say that although armor is will probably never reach its former glory from way back in the first few years of world of tanks i think it's still actually a very good stat to have and probably the most interesting and complex stat in the entire game and i would just uh ask you to remember that most players are actually not firing premium ammunition because they do not have the money to spend on it and most players also do not have the skill level that they know the weak spot of every single tank and have got perfect aim skill and so on so actually armor is a lot better than most people think it is and uh, that's why if I were you I'd consider armor as a very very useful start and actually not always just uh, throw armor out the window just to get that slightly better aim time, that slightly better reload and so on. So that's my opinion on armor. Obviously, um, this is kind of just my view and I would be really interested to hear what you guys think about the subject. Also, please let me know what you think about this kind of video. I've never really done anything like this before, just a pure discussion on something like armor or any other stat or just stuff like that please tell me if you would like to see more of this or if this kind of stuff bores you so thanks a lot for tuning in today i hope you all have a wonderful christmas that's if you celebrate christmas and if not then just have a couple of wonderful days anyway and uh, tune in for my next videos thanks for watching as usual and i'll see you next time goodbye